Hey everyone, in this video I would like to show you how you can influence any parameter within Cinema 4D with the sound effector. When you look at the sound effector first you may get the impression that it's uh, limited in its capabilities and uh, a workaround I have found was to go through Expresso. And I know, I know Expresso sounds a little daunting and uh, scary but please bear with me it's not that complicated and very easy to replicate. And apply to your own use cases. So let's go over the sound effect quickly. So the way the sound effect works is you can upload a sound file into this effector, an mp3, and then this sound file is represented as a graph that we see here as the amplitude graph. And if I click play we can see this graph moves and bounces around and then we have this window and with this window we can define which part of this amplitude graph or which part of the sound file we want to use. And then we have this numerical value here which uh, represents the data, the graph that we have selected as a numerical value. And this numer numerical value we can use to influence any parameter in Cinema 4D. So um, I'm just gonna pick any random range without being considered about um, if it looks good or bad later, that's not the point. Most important for now is we have a set range and we have a numerical value that changes based on the position of the graph. And now we have to uh, build a logic based on this value. And to do that I create a null, I name it Expresso, but it can really have any name, the name is not important. And to this null I go into programming tags and I add the Expresso tag to this null. Then we get this Expresso window in which we can actually build the relationship. And uh, before I do anything I ask myself uh, what am I inputting into the system and what do I want to get out of it. In my case I um, am and the data I have is sound data and what I want in this case, I want to affect the luminance of my material. But it really could be any parameter, like for example the scale of your object, the position of your objects, color, you name it. But in my case, luminance of my material, so I add the material here. And the next thing I do is I think about what do I want to change. So we see we have all our um, parameters here, and in my case it's luminance, luminance brightness. That's what I want to change based on the sound. And for the sound we add an object output. And now we have to build a relationship because unfortunately we can't just connect these because the data type is not correct. So now we add a sample node and we connect the object to the effector. And what we can see here, we get a global matrix output, but that's the wrong data type. We need a vector. So we convert the matrix to vector by typing in matrix to vector, and then we have the correct node, which is the matrix to vectors node. Cool, now we connect the global matrix output of the sample node with the matrix input of the matrix to vectors node. And now let us quickly test if we are getting our numerical value. And to do that we click right and we get the result node. And we see it indicates zero now and if I connect the offset of the matrix to vectors node with the result node, this number should change. And that is the case. Awesome. So we are getting a numerical value from our sound object now. That is great. Now I can connect this matrix to vectors offset to the luminance. And let's see if our luminance now is affected by the sound effector. And we can see something happening clearly. 
Um, and now, depending on which effect you want, a little bit of art direction is required, of course, because you see it's on 2000. And it's constantly in very high values. And that maybe is not what you want. Um, we can influence this a little bit with um, the math node. So uh, we could not directly plug the offset to the luminance, but we could put a mathematical operation in between to reduce this value. So we could, for example, put a math node. And with this math node, we can change this numerical value based on our needs. So I'm going to connect the matrix to vectors offset to the math node's first input. And then the output we can connect to the luminance. And if I click on this math node, in the uh, attributes manager we can um, we can define for the characteristics. So we see here is another input, and we can actually define a value for the second input. And in our case, we have a very high number and we want it to be lower. So data type real, that is fine. And then we have functions here. And we see we have mathematical operators like add, subtract, multiply, divide, modulo. And in our case, we want to reduce the value subtract or divide. Sounds fitting. So maybe let's divide and then we just play around with this value. So now we are, we are setting the number for this input too. For example, let's divide it by 40. Let's see what happens. And we see we get a much bigger range of luminance already. Um, yeah, and then of course you can make changes through these math operators. You can go into the sound and you can maybe uh, define this a little better so you get a more subtle effect but essentially you can influence any parameter of the sound effector with this method and this espresso setup so uh, 